I have received new batch of Wavcat Nanos. They come in those little nice boxes. I have done some additional experimentation and I managed to get the Adafruit screen test working with it. In the previous video I told that I might have a faulty unit, but it seems that it was actually okay. I did the same test with the new ones and here we also have this 32 MHz noise coming out of the pin 8 when the system clock is forced to 32 MHz. So probably it is a configuration issue. Since my OV7670 project still doesn't work with the Wavcat Nano, I'm going to try to get it working step by step. Uh, and the first step is the screen. It should flash green or red at the startup to indicate if camera was successfully configured or not. But currently absolutely nothing happens. Adafruit's screen test has exactly the same issue. And the screen just stays white. But it works fine with ordinary Atmel based Nano. To make tracking down the problem easier, I copied parts of the Adafruit library to a single Arduino project file, so I can start going uh, operation by operation to see where the difference between 80 mega and Wavcat happens. I am using pin 6 as a trigger to capture a specific moment. I want to capture the signal when configuration byte is sent to the screen. I will set pin 6 to high right before sending a byte. I connected yellow oscilloscope probe to pin 6 to be used as a trigger. Blue probe goes to SPI clock. Pink probe to SPI data. And dark blue to screen's chip select. And here we see a problem. Chip select deactivates before the byte is fully sent. It seems that SPI transfer returns too early with the Wavcat processor. If I add enough delay after SPI transfer, then the byte fits within the chip select signal. And as you can see, after this small modification, Adafruit's screen test starts working with Wavcat Nano. Next, I'll try to understand what goes wrong with the camera code since it is still not working. Thank you for watching.